This is the absolute easiest way to install OpenWebUI on your Windows PC, no Docker, no zip extractors, and no confusing setup. We'll use Miniconda, Git, and a few simple commands to get everything running smoothly. Whether you're a complete beginner or just want a clean install, this guide is for you. First, let's install the two tools, Miniconda and Git. Miniconda gives us an easy way to manage Python environments and Git lets us download the OpenWebUI source code directly from GitHub. Go to docsconda.io and download Miniconda for Windows 64-bit. When installing, just click Next on everything. No need to change the settings. Then, go to git-scm.com and download Git for Windows. Same thing, default settings are fine, just click through the installer. Once both are installed, you can move to the next step. Now open the Anaconda prompt. Just press the Windows key, type Anaconda prompt, and open it. This black terminal window is where we'll run all our commands. You'll only need to use this window and nothing else. In the Anaconda prompt, type this command. This tells Miniconda to create a new Python 3.11 environment named OpenWebUI. It will take a few seconds to set up. Once it's done, activate it by typing this. Your prompt will now say Open Web UI on the left. That's how you know you're inside the right environment. Now let's get the Open Web UI files by cloning the official GitHub repository. Type this command. This downloads the full project into a folder called Open Web UI. Once that's done, move into that folder by typing this. This step is really important. You need to be inside this folder for the next command to work. Next, we'll install all the dependencies Open Web UI needs. Start by installing Poetry with this command. Once Poetry is installed, run this. This command downloads everything needed to run OpenWebUI, including support for LLMs. It may take a few minutes to finish, and that's totally normal. Just wait until it says something like installing dependencies from lock file, and then finishes without errors. Now the fun part. Let's launch OpenWebUI. Type this command. This starts the backend server. Once it's running, open your browser and go to this. That's it. You'll now see the Open Web UI interface running on your own computer. No Docker needed. So at this point, Open Web UI is already running. Let's say tomorrow you shut down your computer and want to use Open Web UI again. You don't need to install anything again. Just follow these four steps. Number one is to open Anaconda prompt. Activate the Python environment by using this one. Go into the Open Web UI folder and use this one, and launch it again with this. Once you see the server is running, just open your browser and go to localhost 3000. That's it. That's like flipping on a light switch. Super easy after the first setup. If you ever want to remove Open Web UI completely from your computer, like you're done testing or want to reinstall, here's what to do. First, deactivate the environment with this. Then remove the environment with this. After that, delete the Open Web UI folder from your computer and optionally uninstall Git or Miniconda if you don't need them anymore. This will leave your computer clean with no background apps or hidden services running. Now, let's do a full recap of what we did. First, we installed Miniconda, which is a lightweight tool that manages Python environments without messing up your system. Super useful, especially on Windows. Then, we installed Git so we could safely clone the official Open Web UI repository from GitHub. No need to download zip files or extract anything manually. After that, we opened Anaconda prompt, created a brand new environment just for Open Web UI, and made sure it runs Python 3.11, which is the exact version it needs. We then used git clone to download the actual Open Web UI project. Once we moved into the project folder, we installed Poetry inside the environment and Poetry handled all the dependencies for us automatically. We launched the app with one command and Open Web UI started running right on our browser. All of this was done without Docker, without any zip extractors, and completely offline if you already have your models ready. It's all happening locally on your PC with zero cloud stuff unless you choose to use it. And that's it. You now have Open Web UI running smoothly on your Windows PC without Docker, without zip extractors, and without needing to install anything sketchy or complicated. Everything you did today was safe, open source, and runs entirely offline. You're in full control of your AI setup, no signups, no accounts, and no sneaky cloud uploads. Just a clean, fast local experience. You can now test different models, run private conversations, and even build your own workflows around this interface. Anytime you want to run it again, just activate your environment and launch it. 
No reinstalling, no repeating the whole process, it's not part of your machine. This has been How to Literally, where we keep things smart, simple, and scam-free. See you in the next one.